everybody let me get you centered gotta start everyone this way now because when i push record it um brings you all closer for some reason so um i am reusing today a canvas that has been painted over and then i had another pour the other day that i hated so i scraped it off um this is a, uh, let me double check, I'm not sure, yeah. An 11 by 14, I hate this size. Um, I, I like square or round, I do not like this size. Um, I just mixed up this these paints, I don't know how this pink is, or red, it's um, festive red, craft smart. I don't know how it's going to work. You can see it's really frothy because to get the rest of it out, I added water to the bottle. So that's really frothy. And that has no flow troll, it's just water. And then I mixed up Artist Loft Deep Yellow. And this has flow troll in water. And then this is a collection of various blues. And I really don't know what that was mixed with. Um, I'm going to add some Pearlax True Blue powders to this, but I'm not going to add it into here. I'll add it into the flip cup. So I'm going to be able to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Um, and I thought about doing a pour in the middle and I keep tilting it and twirling this, but when I did it as a sample, I got really, really motion sickness. <laughs> so um, that's just not gonna work for me, except I could probably do it with my eyes closed maybe. Um, and then it would just be a surprise. I suppose I could do that, let's see. That'd be scary. Maybe I should have do it when somebody else is in the room and have them tell me what to do. Because I, I really can't, I can't do it otherwise. So, I think I'm just kind of going to do a little flip and drag. <clears throat> and I'm going to do some doctoring up of these colors. It's Saturday. Hope y'all are having a good Saturday. Um, where's my treadmill silicone? So I've got my, I'm going to put one drop in here. Actually, two drops. And then I'm going to pour the yellow. Set that aside. Stir that in. And then, stay. I had, ah, I wanted to add a little of the yellow parallax powder to this. Okay, stir that in. Give it a little bit of a shimmer. It's so hard to stir just a tiny amount. <laughs> really hard to stir a tiny amount. Okay, so then I'm going to add blue. Sprinkle that in. And then I'm most red. So this could end up looking like a colossal, disastrous mess. But it could also be the most beautiful creation on the face of this earth. All right. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I think I'm going to add white to this. Just to fill it up to the top. in Vaseline, that's a little, a little old school in opening it. Oh my gosh, come on, there we go. So I had somebody come over today to buy some necklaces and I always feel like I'm making a drug deal because, you know, I've got them like in a little package and then they hand me the cash and I'm always like, this just feels so wrong. So, you know, the neighbors see us secretively talking in the driveway. <laughs> what are those Osbournes doing over there? Right, I'm going to tilt a little bit. Tilt just a little bit more. And let's see what I get. So far, it's pretty. Wow, there's a big chunk of that Pearl X powder. Yeah, maybe that's a chunk of some that, that's a chunk of something else. That does not want to come out. Come on. You'll never stay in, you'll never win. Yeah, that pink is really foamy, or red is really foamy. So far, you're probably like, what on earth is she doing? It's okay. I'm not getting most of it in there, but yeah, I'm really just making kind of a giant, huge mess. Let's see if I can turn this into something.
make a nut. I can turn this into absolutely nothing. There are parts I still like though. Over here. I really wish I had my big bin here too, because this is this little thing is really not a good collection bin. I still see potential though. I actually see quite a bit of potential. Let's hope I'm right. Maybe I should change the name of my channel to how to save a crappy looking painting. <laughs> sucks. Here's what you can do. Okay. Looks like someone really beautifully bled out though, doesn't it? Okay. Ow. Well, I, t oh, I tilted that puppy way too far. I think. Now, So my son is into all things from the 60s and for, you know, well, pretty much anything 30s up until mid 70s. And so, as usual, every Saturday, my husband and him go to estate sales. So they send me this picture of him in front of like this huge, you know, almost ceiling to floor mid-century desk. And my husband's like, happy Hanukkah. I'm like, oh, for my dead body if you bring that thing home. I, we have given my son pretty much, he's never in his bedroom. We pretty much gave him, we've got, um, like a bunch of level house. And so he has the living room because, you know, we don't often formally entertain. <laughs> and he has turned that into his room, not his bedroom, but it's got um, TV and a couch and he's got like 600 records in his collection and yada yada. And, um, so he's like, I want, you know, a desk and a this. He's, okay, I, hang on. I got to switch gloves. These are like just soaked. I'm going to get a straw. So he wants all this mid-century stuff. And they always threaten me that they're going to come home with a whole bunch of furniture. And just like these damn books that are on this couch next to me that they've had for who knows how long. 
I'm like, don't, don't bet you better not bring anything home. So if I had to say why this painting went wrong at first, I I think it was um, I think it was because all the paints were different. Um, the yellow had Floetrol silicone water. The red just had water. The blue I don't know. So I think I had too many different things that I was trying to put into one. Um, so if I were to venture a guess, that is what it would be. But I'm kind of liking it right now. I really need to order that butcher paper on Amazon that one of you told me about because I'm going through <clears throat> freezer paper like crazy. I can't believe how cheap it is though. Like I keep thinking there's got to be a mistake. Okay, so let's see, it's touching up the sides. The sides are very colorful. Whoops. All right, so there's that. And then, okay, I need to hang up pieces. Let me. Hang on, I'm just moving this. Well, I can show it to you too. It's finished. You can see the wood grain through it, but once it is resin, it will be beautiful. All right, so let me move that. Oh my gosh. Why do I always hurt myself? I just stepped on, oh, plug. Oh my gosh, that hurt. It's because I got too much crap. And I clean it all the time. But it doesn't seem to matter. Right. Okay, just hang on one second. I'm getting something ready to show you. Okay, so 
I'm just going to, I did make prints on, oh, somebody on the acrylic pouring page said uh, Zappos had a big sale. So a couple weeks ago, I ordered some cards, some prints, but I kind of like these better. So I put painter's tape and uh, And even if you don't have the tape and you get a little paint inside, which I probably will anyways, because it's almost inevitable, um, it does not stop the beauty because, and I've had people who receive these who, ah, who just love them because, you know, they're unique. So I am just dripping or dipping And uh, let's see, let's get a little bit from over here. Oh, I like that. I may do the whole thing like that. Ah! And then as it dries, I'll get cells and it will change a little. Um, there's an awful lot of white in this, which is why it's not the most exciting dip. Um, and then I gotta find something to put it on now. So, and then I usually, um, once it's, once it's dry, then I will put, um, Then I'll put wax or butcher paper and smash it so that it stays flat. But they make, they're great. I love them. So it's a good way to use up the others. And as I said, I have never, well, I don't know if I did say it, but I've never actually used tape. I've usually just risked, risked it. Um, so probably before I go upstairs today, I will, um, take the tape off just because I don't, I think it'll be harder once it's dry. So there's that. Set that over here. USPS don't worry. I send more in those than I used for my art. So <laughs> there's that. And now I got this beauty. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share and I'll catch y'all next time.